like what's it what uh drink chance used to say gorilla podcast like mm-hmm. just go somewhere and just do some shit like I, I do want to do that I wanted to do one at a winery we talked about that on my old podcast at a winery yeah we're gonna make it happen I want to do something at a winery something at like a restaurant slash bar type of place yeah like I want to do one in like a park like out in Wilderness, like not wilderness, wilderness, because you know we don't fuck with like that real shit. Yeah, but nigga, you know, they got bees flying. Yeah, you know. So <laughs> what I was telling you the other day, bro, I'm telling y'all right now, if we ever go somewhere and do a podcast and bees, bees, the show's over. We literally are gonna walk and leave this equipment <laughs> there. Y'all gonna see a whole hour of just wilderness because we left <laughs> two chairs of wilderness. That's all y'all gonna see. Like, uh-uh. like when I be doing the video, the, the uh, post on Thursdays, and I just <laughs> randomly find a wilderness picture and then logo. <laughs> yep, that's all it's gonna be. Like, mm-mm. y'all gonna hear it? <laughs> y'all gonna hear in the background us yelling to the mics? Ah, <laughs> oh, get beat. Fuck that mic. <laughs> Buy another one. <laughs> but call Josie. Shout out to my guy Josie at uh, Sweetwater. Like, so Sweetwater, when you order shit, right, uh-huh. you get assigned what they call a sales engineer, and that dude is there. Like, if you have questions, like, and. Our, that person, anytime you go there to buy something, you talk to that person. Well, if you know, yeah, he's you in know, Indiana, but yeah. So like, even when I pick these, I was looking at something else, and I said, "Hey, Josie, I'm I'm doing this. What do you think? Should I get these or should I get something else?" And he was like, "I like these better for this reason." But I just ordered um, something else the other day, and he's he sent an email. I, you know, you get the automated email like your order has been received; it'll be delivered whenever. And he's like, "Hey, I've been checking you. I see you constantly being on the social media, man. Good shit." Da 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 da. Mm-hmm. Your order's on the way. It'll be there this day. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And Josie's like one of the first people to like all my posts when I post. Like, oh, shit. dude really is like a supportive ass sales engineer. Nah, that's dope. That's how it should be, yo. Yeah. Like, if you really want me to invest in y'all product and do all this shit for y'all, like, you got to... Like, it's a, it's about shit. I thought I'd be good at that job, but I wasn't down with moving to Indianapolis. You can't even do a remote, even though... So they only have a location in Indianapolis... And, you know, everything ships from there. But, like, when you see videos, I have to send you the link. And you see, like, the actual place. Like, I definitely have to travel there to buy some shit one time. Oh, yeah. Like, when I buy the bulk shit for the commercial location, I might just put money aside to take a trip there just to see yeah. the guys and see the facility. It's a cool, cool-ass cool facility. That's dope. But I, that's... It'd be a little odd how these places be able to sustain... All that product and all that traffic through one location, like that shit, that shit, it's impressive to me. Like some people say, like it's stupid, but to me, that's impressive. Like, yeah, you're literally doing almost everything, and everybody that's ordering from y'all is literally getting it from this one place, and this is y'all one location. But y'all service the entire, like everywhere. Yeah, like, and the cool thing is the thing that they've always done since they open. Whenever you order something, you get a little pack of candy. Hold on. They need to sponsor us. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Like, yeah, they because we talking all this yeah. good shit about y'all. That's 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 dope, yeah. But a though. lot of the stuff in this room is a uh, uh, um, courtesy of my man Josie hooking it up. Ask Josie if he can get us a plug on a sponsor. You ain't gotta pay us a lot. We starting out. Yeah. Motherfucker, just give my man some free equipment every once in a blue moon. Like, that's a- I review the shit here. Actually, yeah, we got we got to make sure you make this a clip so you we can gotta- tag my man Josie. <laughs> What's it, Sweetwater? Yeah, Josie yeah. and Sweetwater. I'm not that much into making music and shit, so I don't know. But my man, he, he speaks highly of y'all. Yeah. So the, the service has been impeccable. I, I've not ever, the only ever time. Oh, I forget who was asking about the story of the desk. It might have been Jen. So when I ordered the desk, the desk came from Sweetwater, and they they came on a pallet. How much? My fault. Go ahead. I was about to say a question, but I yeah. try to remember it. Go okay. ahead. Well, you can ask. I remember the story. How much a percentage of your equipment is from Sweetwater? Probably like seventy five percent. And the only that's reason, a fucking lot. That's, the only that's reason a fucking I don't lot. order everything there is because you know you don't want to keep that card, that, yeah. that credit card maxed. Right? Yeah, so you sometimes be able I have to, to knock order that somewhere shit out. else. Yeah. Um. But yeah, probably seventy five percent of the shit I order that's- from there. That means you you fucking fuck with them. Yeah. Anything more than 50%, you fuck with that company. Yeah. Like, like I said, the service is impeccable. But the desk came on a pallet, and the, the company who delivered it did not carry it in the house, and it happened to be arriving a day that I was at work. And this is back when I lived 
45 minutes away from work. So mm-hmm. only little ass Susan was home. Oh, shit. And the guy was like, sorry. I'd even left their cash. Like, yo, just offer it. It says they won't carry it in the house, but like offer him a big ass tip or something. And it turned out Kyle at the time, you know, you remember Kyle, yeah. right? Kyle worked down the street and I was even calling Kyle like, yo, could you help her get this in the house? And one of our neighbors, um, probably the best neighbor we ever had, her son actually ended up helping him, helping her get the shit in the house because it was heavy. Yeah. Like it, literally on a pallet. Mm. Bro, I'm, that, and that's on, like I understand company policy. Y'all don't want to take it into people's houses and all that shit. But like if somebody's willing to pay you a tip, like fuck with my boss to say, I like, got you, give me this. Yeah, like, it wasn't I, like I left five dollars either. Like, yeah, I know good and goddamn well you ain't left five dollars. You a generous <laughs> ass nigga, so you you probably try to lace that nigga pockets. Like, yeah. like nah, I'm not nigga. I'd you could well nah, that's forty five minutes away. I was about to say you could have called me, but I wasn't near. Yeah, nigga. I was. We were both at I work. Was, <laughs> if I was near, motherfucker, I'd have been like, yo, I got you, bro. I'll yeah. be right there in fifteen minutes. Like, yeah. <laughs> like matter of fact, I think I got pictures of it. So if I can find them, I'll post them yeah. so you guys can see. But we've been doing we've been doing that thing. Where we've been talking for eight minutes again. <laughs> oh shit! What's up, what's up with eight minutes? I don't know. We need to check how much the eight minutes. Oh, let's start. I was about to say some other shit. Let's get it motherfucking pop. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I am what I am, and I'm going to be the very best of what I am. And for those who don't like me confidentially, I don't give a damn. I'd like to thank you for letting me be myself. <laughs> we just trying to be quiet like we live. It's like a curtain about to open. <laughs> I was really trying to Welcome okay. back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, we was having a good time during the intermission. Oh, shit. I'm uh, Darian, bro. <laughs> Fuck. I'm Ramon, and this is episode 71. 71, bro. We've been doing this shit for a minute, yo. And I want to say I'm thankful for you, my guy, for actually wanting to bring me on this journey with you, bro. It's, it's dope as fuck, and I love the comf- comfortability. Like, I love... How comfortable I am and how I will literally... I am me when I'm here. Right. Like, the same shit I talk, the same cr- crazy jokes I make, like, I'm the same way when I'm in the house with my wife and kids. Like, so, like, it feels good to be able to just be me. And then y'all watching the shit, yeah. I appreciate the fact that y'all just let me be me. Besides j Shep bitch ass. I'm telling you, I'm starting the saga. I'm not... <laughs> I'm 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 getting all this I'm getting all this footage, nigga. I'm putting it all oh, together. Oh, and you're gonna stitch it into one big clip. It's gonna be like fuck J Shep, fuck J Shep, fuck J Shep, <laughs> yeah. fuck J Shep, and then tag him. Um, <laughs> similarly, I'm grateful for you too fuck because you, it's interesting because you think about some of the I tell some embarrassing shit, right, and don't really give a fuck. But, but would I be telling that shit if I was sitting across from a different motherfucker, right? So Probably not. My ability, I make people comfortable. Yeah, my ability to be comfortable with y'all is because of my brother sitting across from me and shit. So I'm grateful for you as well, sir. Word. Damn. That's, nah, that's a fact, though, bro. It's like, like, and I don't want to sound cocky when I say I make people comfortable. I just want to make people comfortable. I don't want you to feel no type of way, nothing about how you feel. Like I'm gonna tell you what I think about what you, yeah. what you're saying, but. I want you to know that's not law. That's not the end of it. That's not end all be all. Like, right. don't just, like, I'm a dick. <laughs> like, like, so I'm going to say some jokes and I'm going to crack something on something how you felt. But in reality, like, nigga, that's how you felt. That's how you got over a certain thing or that's how you dealt with something in your life. So it is what it is. Yeah, but, but the, even always... you even see that in your leadership style too, too. Because I can't think of anybody in the building when we worked there that wasn't comfortable coming to you. Not one person, and and then I like, and that's how I feel about anywhere that I've worked at, because like I've always been that person. Like, I don't want nobody to feel some type of way of about trying to come to me about something. Right. Like, like I've felt that before. Like, like you really couldn't go to your boss because you was really dealing with some shit in your life, and you needed to talk to somebody for a moment. And sometimes you do have to talk to your fucking boss because. Your work, like your yeah. work ethic, it's crazy. Your work ethic impact uh what you're going through in your life impacts your work ethic. 
Oh, absolutely. Like, and that's a fact. And like, and I never want anybody to feel like, yo, this person, like, I know I'm not doing good right now, but I don't want to tell nobody why I'm not doing good. And that's not like, I want somebody to be comfortable and tell me like, yo, like, I feel like I'm about to lose my crib or I feel like, like I want you to be able to tell me that shit so I can know how to treat you yeah. and I can help everybody else that's at my level understand what you feel. Right. Because like keeping it a being, like being like, I've like, I've out of the seven years, I'm 30. Ooh, shit. <laughs> 12 years? The 12 out of fuck I've been working for 12 years? My fault. I know you've been <laughs> I know it's shit to you, but <laughs> but out of the 12 years that I've been working, it's probably been of good three years total out of everywhere that I work that I've felt comfortable to be able to talk to my manager about what's going on in my life. Right. Like, I don't want that for nobody else. Right. Like, nigga, that's nine years of working that I've just had to tuck shit, tuck shit in. Like, that's not good. That's not healthy. And that's going to make shit worse. Like, and that's why I've always been the type of leader to like, I want you to be able to talk to me like, and like that code switcher shit motherfuckers talk about, that's real shit. Yeah. Like, I am the most impeccable code switcher that motherfuckers have ever... I don't care what nobody say. I'm getting cocky on this one. I am a fucking amazing code switcher. Like, <laughs> So explain for the people, the Gen Xers like myself, who might not know what code switcher is. A code switcher is somebody who's able to change how they talk depending on the type of person that they're dealing with at the moment. Yeah. Okay. So... I didn't know that's what that was called. I'm really good at that too. Yeah. So like, you'll have the, the prissy... Don't judge your races. I'm just going off of stereotypes and all that shit. You have the prissy white person, or you yeah. have the ghetto black person, or you have the the uh, the, the 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 fast Puerto Rican uh, Spanish person. The yeah. like it's all different types, and I'm I'm quick to be able to change to adapt to how to you should communicate. To how, with them. Yeah, like like it's in the same line of me checking somebody out. I've talked this. To one dude and be like, of course, sir, that's amazing. I I definitely understand that. And then the next person be like, yeah, what's up, bro? How you feeling? Like, you you find everything you looking for? Yeah. You good? All right, good good shit. Bet you have a good day, boss. Like, I know how to yeah talk to certain people, and that's and that's why I feel like I've always been so good in the management role and all of that because I know like I know I know what people want to hear, right? And I know what this specific section feels or understands or how they interact. So I try to do the same shit, but I don't know why I was talking about all that. No, bro. that's I real shit though. It's... Rant. <laughs> <laughs> I just went on a fucking rant. And I don't know if you know where it came from. It's just something I'm passionate about because anytime I'm a manager, like I've seen too many managers degrade and talk down on and make their associates feel like they ain't shit. Like it's so many associates that I had that literally only lasted how long they did in the job because I was there. Yeah. Like any day I was like everywhere, almost almost everywhere. I ain't gonna say everywhere, but almost everywhere I've ever worked. When I'm not there, it's a different, an entirely different atmosphere than when I am there. Right. Like when I'm when I'm there, like everybody's working, everybody's doing stuff. Like occasionally they would slack a little bit, but then I put them in check real quick yeah. and then it'd be good. Like but when I'm not there, niggas not doing nothing. They don't give a fuck about it. Like fuck yeah. this job. Like that's how everybody looking at it. But it was just me being fucking me being me. Like I want I want everybody to feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable in anything if it's something that you're doing, like you start to feel like, why am I doing it? Yeah. No, I think you, you, the leadership the leadership is important. And I watched it. Like, anybody, no matter who, always feel comfortable going to you with shit. Including myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, that's a fact. <laughs> like, and that's how it should be. Like, don't let management, all y'all people who's in management in this world, like, do not let anybody feel like they cannot come to you about something. Because when people feel like they cannot come to you about something, that's when your turnover rate gets high as fuck. Because mm -hmm. it's been people 
at every job that I've ever been at that who ended up lasting there a year, but literally was about to be out in a month. Like, right. And I convinced them to like, yo, what you like, you good. Like just do this and you'll be all right. Like, yeah. and they would do that and they would be all right. But like that shit, like it just, you just gotta be honest with people and let them, you gotta let people vent to you, man. Mm-hmm. And be like, we like are a human. People. We're hu- Thank you, bro. Like we're fucking human. Don't, don't think just because they are in this occupation, they should feel this specific way and they should do these specific things. Like, no. Your life belching and shit again. Your life. <laughs> it's like a normal thing. 30 like, minutes uh, in, I call. <laughs> like 15 minutes in, I belch. Like, it's all right. It's, we just do this. But it's about y'all just understanding that people are fucking human and they're going to feel some type of way. They're going to do things. Like, I know you want your company to do good. I know you want your fucking numbers to meet a certain stature. I know you want all of this, but you have to understand that these people want to live correctly. These people want to not have worries. These people want to not stress the fuck out. Like it's things going on in people's life that you would never understand or that you would never deal with because you haven't came through the same triumphs that they had. You just don't know. So you should just be honest with people and be caring to people and be what's it, empathetic yeah. About what they're going through. Cause you never know what the fuck somebody going through. Especially like in and it's nice because you create an environment where you ever been in a situation where your home life sucked and your work likes the work life sucked? Mm-hmm. Driving home thinking, hmm, if I I wanna kill myself, but if I run my car into this guardrail, maybe I can get like six weeks off of work. Bro. <laughs> Bro, I got in a car accident. I had to go to work the next day, motherfucker. <laughs> Been there too. But do you think that's a condition of who we are and how we were raised? Like, like you look at Gen Zers. Gen Zers don't give a fuck. And this is why, like, Gen Z is the one after me, right? I'm a millennial. I, I forget. Like, I people think I'm bullshit. I do not pay attention to that at all. I just go based upon your age and how you act. Like, yeah. that's, literally, that's literally the youngest generation that are in the workforce. The we'll Gen say it Z, that way. Right? Yeah. So. They won't tolerate shit that, like, you know, they won't tolerate shit that's not comfortable, that doesn't make sense to them. They won't tolerate it, and they'll just bounce. And that's why when you when I interview these people, you look at, they don't, they haven't worked anywhere more than, like, six months. Mm. Granted, they're also typically in their 20s at this point, but because they won't tolerate shit that they don't feel is accommodating to them and their goal. And I admire that about them. The six months, that's wild, though. I mean, I know. at least I've ever worked, oh, uh, well, I mean, not. The least I ever worked somebody with somewhere was like four days. Like oh, shit. <laughs> these motherfuckers was playing. Oh yeah, I told this yeah. story. But you yeah. don't put that on your resume though, right? That you worked there for four days? No, I don't yeah. put that on there. Yeah. So they'll have all these like I worked here for six months, here for four months, here for three months. And so I'll just ask, I'm like, hey, I noticed that you only worked these places this amount of time. Like What's the reason? And sometimes they have a good. Ex- hey, I was I'm in, I'm in college, so you know this was a seasonal job. This was a seasonal job, and sometimes there's different reasons. Yeah. Um, but we were always raised to the, to value somebody who's worked at a place a long time. And even when you're interviewing, if you see the person's bounced around to different places under a year, it's a red flag. Mm-hmm. Now I don't know so much. I mean, Not I think yet. it varies. I think it's you got to look. It at depends that. on where the occupation is, because certain places they would just take whatever they're able to get, but some places are actually looking for that quality personnel. Yeah, and that's that's really what it what it boils down to: who's actually able to get that quality personnel. Some people just want somebody to fill a space for a moment, like yeah, till I find somebody else. Like that's literally. It's just unfortunate where I work. I would love to be able to groom people to long term things, but um, the structure and the company's compensation doesn't afford for people yeah, to be there at that, any long term. Yeah, yeah. So nah, that and every piece of I'm research, gonna... yeah. But every piece of research says it takes a person to do their job exceptionally well eighteen months. You never really get anybody that's there. Let me rephrase: you rarely get anybody in that particular position that's going to be there. 18 months or more. So you're constantly starting over. So I get you to a point where you're just starting to be good at your job and now you got to leave. And now I got to start up with somebody green again. Meanwhile, you're answering to the hires up like, why is your performance all over the place? But you're not allowed to talk about short staffness and how quick the turnover is and 
So you just got to be like, well, this, this, and that. Are you coaching? Of course I'm coaching, but motherfucker, I got new people every fucking week. Bro. <sighs> Bro, you just said something that just put some stress on me because that was facts. Like, especially like, out of all the jobs that I had, at one point, the one that I liked the most was fucking Walmart when I was running the back room. Okay. And then when it got so harsh to the fact that we were cycling through people literally every week, it was almost a new fucking group, but I had a like a core group of five and they worked the fuck out of us five. Right. Like everybody else, like it was just do what you do. Like you, you they don't even learn shit before they cycle out. Mm-hmm. So like that shit ended up becoming, becoming a fucking uh, pain in the ass. And like at, over time, I ended up like, I convinced people to stay at that job much longer than they would have stayed. Like, just because I knew the ethic that certain people had and the right. fact that they would be able to accomplish certain shit. And I knew and I knew what motherfuckers was good at, but people wanted everybody to know everything. And that's what annoyed me. Like, I get you want everybody to be able to do everything in case somebody's not here. Mm-hmm. But if you have specific people who kill at this, let them dive into that shit while they're here. It will make up the the slack with somebody else. Exactly. Like this month, it's niggas work five days a week. It's two days that he not gonna be here. Yeah. We can feel have somebody feel that and do a subpar job and be okay. Yeah. With that, but because... they wasn't cool with that shit. Like, bruh, like, and then when I wasn't there, they try to switch people in all different type of like. I would get there. At least 15 to 20 minutes early, print out my schedule. Everybody that was on my schedule put all the departments that they was going to be in, how long it should take them to stock, how much fucking freight we was getting in, how long we should fucking, it should take us to unload the truck. And then when I, when I leave, they just literally did what the fuck ever. And that's why everybody was always like, oh, I'm not impressed with the team and all that shit. Because y'all running this shit when I'm not here. Yeah. Like, when I'm here, nobody says nothing. Nobody has no complaints because they're doing good. Yep. Like, like, fuck is y'all talking about? That but shit I think became That's stressful. important that people overlook that. Like, you, people have strengths, right? Not to say that people, not everybody can accomplish things that they don't. You can accomplish anything you want to learn. I say it all the time. But you have strengths. There's things that you're just going to naturally be stronger at. And if you could put that position, A, the person as an employee feels better because they're getting to do something that they're better at more yeah. often. That doesn't say that you don't teach them other things, yeah, but they let should, them shine. They should know it just to have be a backup in the future in a way, but let them thrive in what the fuck they know. Like if it's easy to them and they like Certain departments are easier to other people, and other departments are right. just like a pain in the ass to them. So push them towards what the fuck they're good at. Don't like I understand you want them to know other things, but don't try to throw them in a whole other department and then make it be like, hey, you better do the same same good you do in the department you're normally yeah. in. Like, no, I don't know this shit. Like, yeah, not and not right away. Maybe like, I will yeah. eventually get there. Give me some time, but like, nah, they want they want results immediately. Like, fuck out of here. It's crazy. It's funny too, because I, I I think it's been my saving grace a lot. And I don't know if it's related or if it isn't, but it was it came to my mind and I was thinking, like one of the last great conversations me and my uncle had, he said, You have to remember not everybody's you. Yeah, that's a that's a big thing. And I feel like it was we were talking about something very specific at the time, but I feel like it's very poignant advice and I listen to it and replay it in my head often. Because in several situations like when I get frustrated when I don't understand why somebody doesn't understand something that I believe to be simple, right? Not everybody's you, Ramon. Frustration going. Mm-hmm. And it, I can I had a bunch of examples, but I can't think of any other ones, but no, but it's facts, though. Even down to, I think, in people, right? Let's say there's this human being that I chose I choose to be a friend, right? And as a friend, I have very little expectation, but I have some expectations, right? You want a certain person to be your friend, and they don't behave that way. And you're constantly disappointed and upset with the person. But then I have to remember... Not everybody's me. Mm -hmm. And how much of the reason that I wanted to be this person's friend did I frame them in what I believe 
mean, because I think we believe an ideal person is somewhere in the realm of what we are, right? Yeah. Like, I'm not perfect by any means, but I think I'm a good human being for the most part. And so the people that I want to associate with, I believe, should have similar beliefs and ideologies. Mm-hmm. And when they don't, yeah, when, <laughs> when they, they don't, don't, you get disappointed. But then I have to remember what my uncle told me. Not everybody's me. Yeah. See, see, I'm almost a, a different in a way because me personally, I don't want you to have the same ideology as me. I don't want you to think the same way that I think because I want to know why you think that way and how you got to that conclusion yeah. rather than us just agreeing. Like, I don't want to, like, granted, I like just agreeing with people because it makes it easier and we understand, like, where both of us stand at. But... I would rather have that kind of uh, us being on different pages just to yeah. know. Because that, that also lets you know how other people tick, what makes other people tick in a way. I think I misspoke then because I agree with you 100%. Because I always say I want to learn other shit. I just think of like normal things, right? Like if if you say you're going to do something and then you don't do it, and then you constantly don't do it, like little basic things. I don't mean necessarily like, Things you like, things you're interested in, but things like are. I can't think of something. Like I don't do shit that. Like I I'm not like okay. I'm, I'm not just gonna show up at your door and ring the doorbell, right? You don't know my address. <laughs> that too. <laughs> but I'm if sorry. I did, I'm not just gonna show up at your door. Like I, th- yeah. I'm talking about basic things. Not like we both like the exact That's same thing. I'm gonna give you my address, nigga. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just After thought I about that. Like, nigga, I've yeah. come to your house. Every... I'm gonna give you my address when I'm moving. I, I come <laughs> I to your house help. every other week. And <laughs> you don't even got my address, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wilmington. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> nah, it's Ellesmere, nigga. Oh shit! I don't even <laughs> see. <laughs> Isn't that a part of Wilmington though? Technically, technically, yeah. my my address is so fucking weird because when I type it into certain sites. It'll say Ellesmere, but other places will, be, will say Wilmington. It's so. like sometimes when you type in 19720, it'll say historic Newcastle yeah, versus just Newcastle. Yeah, that yeah. same shit. Like, bro, like, are we different or are we not? Yeah. Like, are we Wilmington or are we fucking Ellesmere? Like, let us know so we know what the fuck to put. Let's yeah, just... I want to come over for one of them six side one meat course meals. Nigga, I, nigga, I don't know. Next time I'm going to cook, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even feeling like cooking, bro. It's the heat. Nah, yeah. Well, I mean, we got AC, bro. But still, it's the heat. You still got to go out in the shit. Oh, yeah. I hate going out in the heat, bro. This shit is crazy, man. My balls been sticking to my leg like motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, the pouch, the underwear, the pouch in them. Huh? You don't got, you don't a get. A pouch? You chew a kangaroo, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> nigga got a pouch under his nuts? <laughs> hey, you never, you, no, wait, hold on. I feel like I'm about to change your life dramatically. Hey, nigga, <laughs> you never had any underwear that had the pouch? Any underwear with a pouch? Yeah. Nah. I'm going to change your life. I'm going to send All you some All my underwear links. got the hole in it where my dick slang out. But yeah, other it than got that, that too. Uh-huh. But it's got a pouch to keep your nuts off your leg. That was, the drone with the little air pocket, Joel. I was ne- I was skeptical at first, too. I would never go back. Are they, they built like briefs? They're boxer briefs. Briefs? Bro, I'm... I can't wear I'm tighty whities I'm blessed with briefs and tighty whities I can't wear them shits, bro. All right. They make my stomach hurt. Good for your wife. Um, <laughs> um, no, but I don't like the short shits either. I like the long leg boxer reefs because like I don't. My want, shit at least gotta be like right here. Yeah, I don't want the, them to be flowy. I need them to, to conform the to me a little bit. Shit, yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna send you a link. Yeah, send me a link because I want to see. Yeah, I've been looking for it, but my puma, my puma briefs though. Need that fucking sponsorship. I'm not playing. We go at the end of when you we have to get... tag somebody. Oh yeah, I ain't been tagging Puma. Mm-mm. Oh, I need to create a Puma clip. I'm about to say all the times. I just got fine all the you time. It's goddamn 71 episodes. At this point, we just should just pay for the fucking shit that transcribes your software because once it's in text, then all you gotta oh. do is control F and, and it'll find wherever the times you said that word or that phrase or that sentence, and then you know where it was. Yeah, we need to do that shit because looking for that shit is going to be a pain in the ass. Even I'd be like, I have this great idea, D. We're going to stitch all these clips together. 
And then I'd be like, I don't remember where we said that. Like when I was doing the bingo board. I guess that's hey, why AI you, is good. Fill out your bingo boards, huh? I said, I guess that's why AI is good. That'd be a good use for it. Because I'd be forgetting, like it was an episode, and I was like, still... I didn't even remember we did an episode with that title. Ooh, what title? I can't remember now, but when I was oh. doing the board and I was picking like the cover art. Yeah, it's 71 titles. I can't remember. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I wonder what we talked about that episode. <laughs> I think I remember the first one and the last one we did. <laughs> I don't remember the first one. <laughs> You see, don't remember the first one? What did we call the first one? Man purse or some shit like that? I'm not wearing I'm a not purse. I'm not wearing a You're purse, right. yeah. I'm not wearing a purse. And then it was... <laughs> I know the one that started it, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, I don't know the rest of that shit, because... Oh, I need your pics of your favorite episodes, because I did start creating playlists on YouTube. Shit of my favorite. God, Finger is free, I think, is number one. I think that's, that's number your favorite one. one. I think that's number okay. one. But after that, I gotta look into it. Yeah. I know finger is free is fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> I was done, nigga. That shit was funny. Um, <laughs> finger <shit>. is free. <laughs> I wrote down on the board and I can't remember why the day I wrote it. But stripper and former life. I think I was a stripper in a previous life. You think you was a stripper in your previous life? Mm -hmm. Or in another multiverse. Why do you think that? I a male wish. stripper? I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I asked that. <laughs> In Look, hey, 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 being inclusive. One of, one of my variants may not have always been male gender, but I feel like I identify with stripper. And I can't, it was something what specifically specific makes you think you identify with a stripper. Do That's, you get naked for money? <laughs> I've thought about what I thought about it. Do you do you give make people horny and then send them home? I don't know. Maybe we'd have to poll the audience. <laughs> nah, you gotta send some text messages out, nigga. That's it. Uh, my phone's currently busy, but otherwise I would. <laughs> Say hey, but, did I ever make you hornier and send you home, motherfucker? But would I collect? Let's keep it real. So this is a touchy topic, and I wish there was a woman here to argue with. But I say it's got to be super fucking difficult to be a woman. Oh, I've yeah. always said that. It's more difficult to be a woman than a man. But depending on your mindset, it might be super easy to be a woman. Yeah, if you throw that ass in a circle. I mean, but I'm think sorry, about it. I don't want to be disrespectful. No, but think but, about it. If you choose, I'm not saying every woman. But if you choose. Because some women you wouldn't be able to make the choose to do that. You can get paid. No matter what you look like. Like, I think if you were saying I done seen some booger wolves fucking I'm my fault. I use that word again. In some in some of the videos. But they 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 getting paid, so each his own. I don't think you could do it. Like let's say you what? were single. I don't think you could sleep with women just for money. For money? Not any woman. I think if there was an attractive woman that you were attracted to, you could sleep with them for money. I don't think... I don't think you could sustain right, it long term. Honestly, right now, because of the structure and how I look at things in life, I don't think I could. But if things were crumbling and shit wasn't where, how I thought they should be, I, I definitely could 100% see me doing that shit. So let me ask you a question. It's going to sound very gay, but I don't mean it in a gay way. Uh -huh. So if you could create an OnlyFans, uh -huh. and it's just... You jerking off and talking shit. Like, you know, you want this dick, whatever women uh -huh. want to hear. I don't fucking know. Uh -huh. And you can make money doing it. I'm going to start getting DMs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they be like, oh, you got that? <laughs> I want to see what you like. <laughs> oh, shit. Where is he going? My fault. I don't know. I but my know. brain thought of several <laughs> funny fucking shits. Motherfuckers going to be impressed. They're going to be like, uh. <laughs> Warm the crib after dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's I forgot to put my shit on. Uh... Do not disturb. Do not disturb. <laughs> oh, shit. Warm the crib after dark. We're not giving y'all that on the bingo board because you already hey, know that's yo, the title. Hey, Ooh. yo, if one of you motherfuckers try to create Warner Crib after dark, I'm fucking you up. 
When I create my OnlyFans, that's what that's for. <laughs> I'll be mad and shit if I have to check it just to Remind check the, the bank account when I actually click a video. No, 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 no. Remind go Google, Google warm the crib and the, <laughs> and the OnlyFans gonna pop up. <laughs> what like, the what fuck? the fuck? Somebody steal our name? <laughs> <laughs> and the only way I can confirm it is to click it and subscribe it. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's, it's, hold up. I remember them sneakers. It's, it's, oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's Darian. <laughs> First episode, he's, he's like, I got to keep it related. First episode is microphone comparison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, then I'm going to be sitting at the computer. Oh, I'm going to look shit. back and be like, where the fuck is these, Mike? <laughs> Bro, you can keep that. I'll order another one. Bro. He said, nah, just bring it with you and you plug it up every time you come. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm, like, not I'm, I'm not touching again. that shit. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, y'all. That was <laughs> that was funny as shit. Yo. Uh-uh. Before I, we go into a deep OnlyFans rabbit hole. Um, but yeah, stripper thing. If I thought somebody would pay me to strip... I would do it. Yeah, somebody would pay me to get naked. I'd do it. I'd do it. That's somebody want to see me rub oil on my salt and pepper chest hair? <laughs> you got a visual. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga. He said salt and pepper. Oh, shit. My um, fucking gray hair is glistening and shit. Salt and pepper <laughs> hair and wit and effect. Got <laughs> <laughs> the hamburger meat. <laughs> All right, this is the craziest oh. shit I read the last couple of weeks. What's that? I think uh, I'll give credit to Complex is where I saw the article. Who? Complex. Complex. So there was a, got a sushi restaurant, and pardon me, guys, I forget the, 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 the state and locale it was in. Did you see this shit? Did I send it to you? Yeah, you sent it to me. So the sushi restaurant. I didn't even look into it. I saw that shit. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> so motherfuckers ate at this restaurant, and then shortly after... Felt sick. And when they got tested, at least four people tested positive for methamphetamine. The motherfuckers out there. (laughs) (laughs) It was... (laughs) Now, here's what's more interesting. They couldn't prove that it came from the restaurant, but the restaurant closed. Uh. I call bullshit. Yeah, the restaurant closed. It's good and goddamn well. That's where it came from. But who the fuck why are you putting meth in the chicken? I order orange chicken, not <laughs> orange meth, motherfucker. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, that doesn't even make sense to me. How does that happen? How do you get meth in food? How do you get meth in a restaurant's food? In a place that cooks for people all the time? How do you get meth in it? Unless it was deliberately... Maybe it was a side business and it just kind of... He was a hustler and he was trying Somebody to get more... Somebody mix up the salt with he the He was fucking... trying to get more clientele. That's all it was. He's if like, I, get I heard sh- McDonald's put sugar in the fries to keep them addictive. Hold my beer. <laughs> if I push, hey, nigga, if I make you fucking, I forget where I was going. But if I make your ass want to fucking buy this shit, like it is what it is. You want to become a fiend off of it. That's like crazy. you think, you think, whole time, you think you just love this restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> But your whole time, your ass addicted to this restaurant. That's crazy. <laughs> and I was just thinking, we were supposed to go on a sushi date mad long ago. Imagine now you done fucked sushi up for me, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where'd this come from? <laughs> like, uh uh-uh. uh. Is this the meth sushi? <laughs> I'll, I'll pass. Are y'all kept connected to that other place? Like, y'all don't, y'all don't get your meat from the same place? All right, we cool. We still do got to do that, though. What? Go out for sushi. Remember, you never had yeah, it. So yeah. I we got to go. Yeah, we can go out for sushi. Where? Where you, where would you go for sushi? Where do y'all go for sushi? Because we never... I don't think I've really found a place She had sushi. Way. I had sushi before. But I don't remember it, though. Okay. It was wild, so it's no point in Probably mentioning. toward, like, the college is probably some good places. Or even down, like... But, uh, UD or uh, yeah. Dell State? UD, I was thinking. UD. Well, I, you know, I ain't drove, to Do- drove to Dover since I moved from Dover. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, I wouldn't either, nigga. I've been going up and down that road all this time, like nigga, unless I really need to. Fuck Dover. I don't like, think not fuck Dover. Yeah. I'm not saying that. You D E. So D E gang. Fuck you talking about. But yeah, I don't think if I ain't got to drive down there. Like, fuck it. So it's almost what we have two years and I have not driven past 
do I Castle mean, that's County. good since you used no, to Middletown. drive down every... Middletown still do Castle County? Middletown, I don't, bro. Anyway, either way, Middletown is the furthest south that's the going. fuck. That's fucked up. I don't give a fuck about these counties. I just know what county I'm in. Like, Y'all, I don't know where it that's stops. That's because your state has three. Huh? That's because the state has three. Newcastle, Sussex, and... Kent. Kent. You right, Kent. I had never heard of that in my life. So Kent when county? I moved here... No, when I moved here, I had never heard of a state where the whole state, the entire state, has one area code. That oh, was yeah. foreign to me. The whole state... Nigga, had, we are tiny. Had only three counties. Never heard of that before. How and many counties y'all got? 19, 18, God 20. damn. <laughs> That's unnecessary. Like, look at the <laughs> fuck. Now, I was thinking, he's about to say like, maybe eight, nine. Not, we're going to call our special guest. Alexa, how many counties are there in New Jersey? Damn. <laughs> My fault. I didn't mean to get that loud. Fucking 21 counties? Yeah. And multiple area. Okay, Alexa, stop. And then multiple area codes. Like, even Y'all back got... when. Yeah. Even when I was. Alexa, stop. Even hey, when yo, I was... bitch. We don't care. <laughs> we done. We got the information we needed. Even back when I was a kid, there was three area codes when I was a child. And Shit. I'm almost 50. Three, and in one you... city you was in? Newark. Newark. The irony, right? Yeah. Um, so we were 201, and then you What's had- Newark? North? Yeah, North. So you closer to New, NY, New York? New York, yeah. yeah. All right, back. So you had 201, 609, and whatever the bottom shit is. It's East Delaware. It don't fucking matter. Yeah. Sorry. Um, East Delaware. What's that, Newark? Yeah, anything below Trenton, I call East Delaware. New. Is it Trenton? This nigga- <laughs> I'm over here thinking about actual Delaware cities and shit. No. Your ass like, nah, that's this is still Jersey, but it's East Delaware. Delaware like, yeah. um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember how many area codes there are for the state now. There's tons, but um, yeah, that was and and only three DMVs, and at the time in the whole state, I think we have four now. Yeah, four. Meanwhile, we would have four in a city, <laughs> not even a county. Castle, the one in Dover. Dover. And the one in Georgetown. Georgetown. Newcastle, Dover, Georgetown. But there's like two there's up one this more. way. It's one in Newark, right? Yeah. And it's another one. I don't know where that one at. Shit, I don't even know because I be I be paying for the seven year registrations and, and I don't keep the car that long. <laughs> so I don't even know where there is one up here. The last time I had to get a car registered yeah. was a while ago. I always ago. went to the Newcastle joint. That's closest to my career. Yeah. Anywho, um, yeah, that's wild. First of all, if I eat some goddamn Japanese food and I become strung out, <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed the fuck off. Like you out here, <laughs> I really want nigga, gotta go to rehab for fucking Benny Hanna's or some shit. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> like, 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 oh, uh, uh-uh. uh, I be hot. But imagine you you're not feeling well. You just know you're not feeling well. You're just gonna assume maybe my body don't like my undercooked fish. So much, my <laughs> and then the doctor comes and tells you you tested positive for methamphetamines. And you know, depending on the doctor, he ain't gonna believe you ain't really take the shit. Fuck you mean? I don't meth, nigga. Meth? No, I would never. So, well, um, you have, sir. So <laughs> Sir, we don't take your kind here. Just tell the truth. We know what what, what kind of person you are. Bro, I'd be hot. That doesn't even make sense, bro. But I think it's crazy that nobody's questioning that the restaurant said, we're not guilty, but we're going to go ahead and close. Why would you close if you're not guilty? That's a sign of admission of some shit. Like you admitting it, but not admitting it. You're not openly saying that, oh, shit, we did get meth in our chicken. But you like, all right, let's close this shit because we had meth in our chicken. Like, and especially the fact, you know, now you got me all ingrained in blacklist and shit. So now I think everything's a conspiracy oh, more than I already did. That show will have your ass like, yo, I don't trust this shit. Like, I meant to tell you. So the whole time I'm thinking, God, where do I know Reddington from? Like, his personality seems so familiar. And then it dawned on me, he voiced Ultron. Ultron? In Age of Ultron, Avengers Age of Ultron. He was the voice of Ultron. If you think about Ultron, oh, oh, he says shit just like Red. Shit. 
You fucking right. Mm-hmm. Same cadence and my hair hurt now. <laughs> but it's funny. We'll, we'll be talking about Reddington and be like, you'll Why? be asking us something serious. Reddington, how am I going to save this person? Have you ever eaten at the steak shop down on 4th Street? That shit is unbelievable. The way they slice the steak and they meticulously take the time to melt the cheese and then sprinkle it with a little bit of pepper and salt. Nigga, you gonna answer my question? <laughs> That's a fact, bro. I did not think about that shit. He really does. Ultron sounds just they. He didn't even have to change the character. He was Reddington as a robot. Fuck no, we don't need Reddington as a robot. That's my nigga though. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, that's my nigga. I it's funny him. when you first start watching him like, and Dembe. That Dembe, yeah, my nigga. Yeah, Dembe, the truth. I didn't think. Nah, oh, fuck it. The show was like I didn't even realize. I didn't realize it was still on. It's still on. See? Oh shit! So the other day I was after Googled, nine after season nine. I think whatever season they're in, I don't know the number. They're in the last season. Yeah. And I was googling something about James Spader, the actor, because I was like, he looked familiar beyond the voice. He was in some of my favorite movies from the eighties. But they Where were like, it? see, the like the final season finale premieres July twelfth. I'm like, oh shit, that's this year. The shit is still active. Yeah. I ain't know they were still acting. All right, I'm going to be looking out for their shit. Fuck yeah. that. So probably the way Netflix US works, we'll probably get it next year. Yeah, yeah. I forget. Sense. I think I looked up to see what it was on, like, as far as streaming, because, you know, we don't do cable, but. Yeah. I don't think anybody does cable anymore. And if you do do cable, you just paid out the ass. Because you got cable, you got all the streaming apps, you got all, like, nobody, everybody just goes for streaming apps. Like, it's no point in doing yeah. cable. And even some of them streaming apps I'm about to cancel because I'm like, when was the last time I clicked that shit? But, yeah. Nah, that's the fact, though, bro. Shit wild out here, cuz. Yeah, it is. Sir, what's your final thought? My final thought. I'm calculating. <laughs> Check the reviews when you go to the restaurant. If anybody complains of itching, stay away. <laughs> oh, shit. My... Don't do meth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, nah, but I know some real shit. My final thought is be true to who you are and be true to who is close to you. Don't discourage yourself and always think positive thoughts about where you could where you could have been compared to where you are. Life is so much better than what you think it is. You just gotta hold on to them gems and make everything better for yourself. It's not going to be given to you. Life just doesn't get better immediately out of nowhere. Like You got to work for it. And when you work for it, it feels so much better. Mm, I like that. I would say stay the course. That thing you're working on, that thing that's difficult, um, even amidst a setback, take what you can learn from that setback and then keep moving forward. Like I recently had a setback about something that was very disappointing. And it took a day. I've always said, take a day to be upset about the shit, but then yeah. go jump right back into action the next day. Uh, um, yeah. Move forward. Big facts. Um, listen and watch, watch and listen. I don't even remember what we talked about this episode. We don't. A good, we that's usually don't. a good conversation because it was just when flowing. we don't for when we forget what the fuck we was, what the main focus of the conversation was. That means we was just flowing, like so. Listen and watch, watch and listen, because we're going to have to do the same, because we don't remember what the fuck we talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you follow us on everything, at Warm the Crib, across Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. On TikTok, we are Warm the Crib Podcast. Make sure you like, comment, and follow. Go to your YouTube and subscribe. Hit the notifications button. We are Warm the Crib Podcast. And then make sure you go get some merch. I told y'all last week, we got the new Dreadlock Jesus merch. And we got the new flops for y'all, the slides. Make sure y'all get them, Jones. WTCmerch.com. We appreciate all the love, the support. Anybody who listens to this, anybody who fucks with it. Big facts. We appreciate y'all. Tell your peoples about it. Tell your peoples, peoples. Tell your mama, your daddy, your sister, your granddaddy. We love everybody. We appreciate y'all. You know what's dope, too? It's funny. You didn't tell me you did the, the Dreadlock Jesus shit. You just said I put some new shit on there while we were exiting the episode. Mm-hmm. 
And then I got an email. Hey, you might want to check out this new merchandise from Warm the Crib. And I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> man. I was trying to keep it a secret until we actually got back on the drawing. So yeah. like, at least when they know when it's come out, they it's already there. Yeah. It's already uh, there. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a great time talking with you guys as usual. Until next week. Peace. Peace. Caught that motherfucker.